You know, we have a lot of important issues in this country, like crime, poverty, a Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton boinking. Lots of big issues, but none are bigger than coffee cups. By now you've heard about the great red cup controversy at Starbucks. They're serving coffee in red holiday neutral cups, and people are calling this a war on Christmas. You see, the problem is that in previous years, Starbucks has used red holiday cups with seasonal decorations on them, like reindeer and snowflakes. But this year, they decided to go simple and use a red cup with just their logo on it. Which can only mean one thing. Starbucks hates Jesus. I mean, it's quite obvious to everyone that snowflakes and reindeer are well-known religious symbols connected to and only to Christmas. Seems like we go through this every year. This year might be the worst. Are they Christmas trees or holiday trees? Does a manger belong in front of a state house or in front of a church? Look, no one's trying to get rid of Christmas, but let's pump the brakes on Santa's sleigh just a little bit. No other holiday has decorations that come out three months before the actual holiday. And no other holiday has music on the radio 24 hours a day about buying shoes for mom or Italian singing donkeys. Hey, jingity jing. It's Dominic the donkey. All this red cup hoopla is coming from an internet evangelist named Joshua Fierstein. He's an extremist Christian who looks like a fat Fred Durst with a Jewy sounding name. But somehow he has millions of followers on Facebook and YouTube, mostly for posting videos about controversial issues like atheists and gays and the war on Christmas. And his latest issue is with the new red cups at Starbucks and their policy to say Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas. Now this is a guy who once posted a public challenge to atheists. If you can prove that God doesn't exist, he'll pay you a million dollars. Well, that's a pretty safe bet, since it's impossible to prove something doesn't exist. You know, like leprechauns, or unicorns, or Donald Trump's desire to be president. You know they're not real but you can't prove it. And where would a guy like this get a million dollars anyway? Well, he's an internet evangelist. It's kind of like those television evangelists, you know, like Oral Roberts and Tammy Faye Baker, except he's on the internet instead of TV. And he's not just kind of like them, he's exactly like them, as you can see from his PayPal donation page. Look, people who work with the general public have an obligation to be fair and courteous to all their customers. And Merry Christmas is something you should say only to people who celebrate Christmas. But there's no way of knowing. And remember who you're dealing with. These people are selling coffee for a living. Look, I went to college for mass communications. I graduated broadcasting school with a 4.0 GPA. I've worked in radio and television and public speaking for 20 plus years. My name is Tom, not Todd. If they can't get that right, how are they going to get religion right? So look, saying happy holidays just makes more sense. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. You don't say happy Veterans Day to everyone you see, because not everyone you see is a veteran. I mean, if they walk up to you in full camouflage fatigues and combat boots, then all right, throw them a happy Veterans Day. But unless someone walks up to your counter dressed up like Santa Claus, you just don't know what they're celebrating. So don't think of it as a war on Christmas. Think of it as an attempt at peace and equality. It's a friendly way to say something kind to people without bringing religion into it. So smile and say it back and just be happy that the person behind the counter said anything at all. Because today I would have been happy with just a simple, have a great day. Todd.